by Hoops Entertainment. I am Odua Yojo, and of course, you're welcome on Get to Know Me with Odu Ayo. Who is our favorite guest for this week? You wanna know? I'm gonna tell you. Before we get to know him, let's quickly go on a short break. Be with me. I'll be right back. Don't go anywhere. Get to know me with Odu Ayo. Peace out. Come back, and of course, our guest is already waiting in the building. Please introduce yourself to the audience at home. Hello, fam. My name is Oluwa Tobi Fakas. All right, you're welcome, Oluwa Tobi Fakas. Okay, please tell us a little about yourself. I am an actor, a filmmaker. I am an entrepreneur, and um, I am the first in the family of three. I am an indigenous of Lagos State. Okay, all right. So straight to the question: When did you start acting? Um, I started acting officially in the year twenty eighteen. That was um three months after I joined the industry. I got my first gig after three months, and then that was it for me. Twenty eighteen. So I think I am um um six years in the game now. Glory be to God. Okay, all right. So um, what do you like about acting the most? Yeah, um, acting for me is hair. Acting is the hair that I breathe. I mean, all I just want to do is act. And I love the fact that acting allows me to become another person. It allows me to tell the story of another person. I like, I like walking in people's shoes as an actor. Don't get me wrong. I like walking in your shoe as an actor. I want to see what it feels like to be you. And then acting gives me that chance to become you. So that's why I love acting. Okay, so um, did you take up training in acting? No, I did not take up any training as an actor. All I just did was, okay, first thing was self-discovery. I realized that, okay, yes, Toby, I think you have this in you, and then you can actually do it. And then what helped me was I, I watch movies a lot. I love to watch movies. So by the time I watch, I, 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 I watch to study actors' performances. I, when I watch, I want to know why this person is doing this, why this person is doing this. So I think that has helped me in grooming my, 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 my craft, in grooming my talent. So I did not have any official training as an actor. Okay. So now tell us, do you like something other than acting? Yes, aside acting, I love to render service to people. I mean, like I said, I am an entrepreneur. I am into um fabrics. I'm a clothier, so I sell fabrics for occasions. So aside acting, I love to provide service to people. Yeah, that gives me joy too. Mm, all right. Okay, so um when you decided to be an actor, did your family support you or they against it? Um, like I said, I knew I had it in me. I knew I could do it. So after my NYC program, I told myself, I said, Toby, I want to be on the screen. I, I, I want to play for the screen. I want to see how it feels like to play for the screen. So day and then after NYC, after the old certificates, collection and everything, I told myself, I said, Toby Lover, you will become an actor. I don't know you want to do it, but this is what I really want to do. So I, I went after it. I I told my parent about it, and you know, you know, this is Nigeria. Then it was like, ah, I want to go and act to be after the whole thing, after everything. And I'm like, okay. They did not support at first, but you know, the fact that I wanted to do it, and then I pursued it, and then I was consistent with it. So they knew that, okay. It's like this guy is making sense. It's like he's not. He, he, he did not just go into it because he felt like, oh yes, I just. He, he, he didn't just wake up one day to say, I want to become an actor. So they watched me being consistent with it, and they saw that okay, it's like Toby. So it's it, it, it is like Toby likes this thing. So along the line, they fell in love with him, and they, they were like, you don't see me on screen. And like okay, what is she that I'm male? What is she that I'm male? Okay, so they just allowed it. It's like okay, Toby, this this is what you want to do. Go and do it. My mom supported me. My dad supported me. I mean, my whole family. Tell my fans. Tell my fans. Whenever I, a movie drops and I'm in the movie, they're always the first to go and watch the movie. And I'm grateful to God for the kind of family I have. I'm grateful to God. Wow. And that makes you a lucky one. All right. So, um, before we go on another short break, um, could you please tell us, Lidu, about this your trendy movie, uh, showing on African magic every day? Titled Kadara, could you please tell us how you won the role, the challenges you face, and what you're mostly grateful for about the movie? 
I am a fan of audition, so it was true audition. I saw the flyer online and I told myself, I said, I wasn't going to take any, um, I wasn't going to take any chances. I told myself last year, I wasn't going to take any chances that any opportunity I see, oh, there's an audition here, there's an audition here. I, I love audition. So I told myself, I would go, whether you pick me or you don't pick me, I will attend the audition. So I saw the flyer for Kadara, the movie from the producers of Iro Raya, and I said, okay, Toby, let's just do it. And then after, whenever I audition for roles, I just, I keep an open mind, like, if it comes, it comes, and it's for me. If it doesn't come, then it's not for me. So I dropped the monologue clip. I dropped um, my head shot. I submitted my resume and the like. So they saw it. Then later on, they reached out to me. Okay, can we do this? Can we do that? Can you send this back to us? Then I sent some monologue clips again to them. And they're like, okay, yeah. Congratulations, you have um, the role. And I played the lead in um, Kadara. This is Shea saw. Akirile, a lot of people have become a so Akirile, so I played the lead. And then uh, it was such an amazing experience for me because I actually loved every experience. One thing I love to do is I love to learn on the job. So it was a different bogey for me because I've not played, I've not um, featured in a series before. I've not done a series before, so I really wanted to do it. And then I did it, then I learned a lot on that set. I mean, I had to film every day. I had to film every day i i i my call time is always 7 a.m i would film from 7 a.m sometimes into the night late night and i'm like okay you signed up for this you cannot complain so it's crazy and then the character took me through a lot of things for those that have been watching and you have been enjoying kada you understand that this is all went from being um that guy that always that would always fret that would always fret. He never had a mind of his own. And then suddenly something, something happened and suddenly made Shesso a man. <laughs> so the character, I love the character development. I love the character. So it took me through a lot. It played with my mental space. And I'm like, okay. I mean, that's what an actor is for, right? So I went into it and I'm glad that um, I became Shesso Akirin. So down to the release of Kandara, I was nervous. Will people appreciate this film? Will they watch this film? Will they watch this series? Uh, okay, let's just... Then they released it. Piao first and second. And I got a lot of comments. I'm like, wow, this is this. I love it. I love. I'm like, okay, 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 okay. I mean, this is the moment I have been waiting for. I want to put a point to you guys that I can do this thing. And then I appreciate the fact that I I was getting nice feedback. The, the feedbacks were... And are still encouraging so i am grateful to god I'm grateful god for kadara and i'm glad that people are actually enjoying our effort because we shot for three months so i wouldn't want uh after shooting for three months and then it comes on um on the screen and people are like what did they do but i'm glad that it wasn't like that so glory to god for that wow all right so guys let's quickly go on another short break we'll be with us we'll be right back <laughs> Welcome back, and of course, our guest is still waiting in the building. All right, so let's continue with him. If you don't mind, can you tell us about your relationship life? Are you married, or single, or taking, or searching? <laughs> Which of it? <laughs> okay, um, about that, I um, I am single. I'm single. I'm single. So, uh, if you want to shoot your shots, shoot your shots. Feel free to shoot your shot. <laughs> You have noticed that <laughs> okay so um on to the next now which is more important to you in this the celebrity status or the adoration you receive from your fans or your enchanting performances i have never been a fan of celebrity status because i did not come in into the industry because um i want to be famous i mean i will definitely be famous god is god and god will continue to be god on that aspect but i came in for the art I came in for the craft. I came in because I wanted to do something. I wanted to, I, 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 I came because I want to impact, because I want to make a difference, because I want to make a statement. I didn't come in because of celebrity status. No, I can't, I'm still hungry. Like I'm still very hungry. I, I, I want to do great jobs. I want to do great work. So not because of celebrity status. Then I am also a fan of um, 
giving people their flowers. I like it when you appreciate people. I'm not telling you to come and tell me, oh, I did it at the board. You know, it's been so sweet. Actually, on this camera, I've done other films and they're still showing. And I, 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 I appreciate everyone that's taken out time to come to me and tell me, we love the way you acted. We love the way you're still acting. We love the way you did in that movie. We love your performance. We give people their flowers. I mean, I am, a, I am a huge fan of giving people their flowers. So whenever somebody do well, please appreciate them. Give them a plus. Give them a plus. Send them message. If possible, send them money. Send them money. Send them money. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So um, now that the entertainment industry is very changing, where do you see yourself in the next five years? Okay, um, in the next five years, I am seeing myself um, becoming a force. I'm seeing myself becoming a household name. I'm seeing myself leading a Netflix original project. I'm seeing myself leading an Amazon original project. I'm seeing myself leading a Showmax project. I'm seeing myself doing great stuff. I'm seeing myself making impact. I'm seeing myself in bigger spaces so. that's massive yeah and so shall it be in jesus name amen all right so the last but not the least question now is how would you like to appreciate your fans what would you like to say to your fans out there okay i i, I don't even know if i have fans yet but i mean if you're out there rooting for me god bless you and then i want to say that you should continue to support me because your support your encouragement is going to go a long way for me so please keep supporting Uluwa to be lower faculty so whenever you see any movie that has my name on it please watch it please support me please encourage me and god bless you once again my name is Uluwa to be faculty i'm an actor and this is get to know me with or do ayo it's out not so much for coming on the show today Oluwa Tobi Fakos we are delighted to have you on the show thank you so much for coming so guys I've come to the end of the program for today on get to know me with Odu Ayo I still remain your host to the most Odu Ayo Ojo okay so guys um, join me on my next episode still on get to know me with Odu Ayo I love you guys so much uh, please don't forget to subscribe like comment and share the video alright so I love you